Welcome to the exercise for Module 3 of the Education Clusters Coordination Core Skills Pre-Training Package. If you haven't yet tried this exercise on your own, please pause this video and give it a try first. Instructions for this exercise can be found at the bottom of the Module 3 document we have provided to you. The scenario for this exercise is that OCHA has informed you that they have decided to collect weekly updates from all clusters on the progress of their top four core activities. In other words, they want to know how your indicators are going for four of those activities. Your cluster has picked uh, establishment of temporary classrooms, distribution of teaching and learning materials, distribution of ECD kits, and training of education personnel as the four activities to which you will be reporting, for which you'll be reporting. You have uh, compiled, because you're such a great cluster, you've already been compiling, monitoring, and tracking partners' activities as they've been reporting to you into a database, like a 3W, who's doing what, where database. So your task is to then prepare an analysis tool so that you can demonstrate visually in table form as well as chart form how you're doing on the benefit number of beneficiaries both targeted and reached for those activities and in addition we want the tool to be made in such a way that you can easily update it week after week after week without having to create it each time so that's what we're doing in this exercise what I'd like you to do is open up the exercise folder and your partner report partner uh, response monitoring tool, otherwise known as a 3W. Uh, you'll see that in, inside of this document you have lots of data that you've been compiling. Whether you call it a 3W or a monitoring tool, the, uh, in essence it's all the same. You have information about which organizations, which par cluster partners are doing uh, activities, where they're working, which activities they're doing, the status of those activities and dates, as well as uh, the beneficiaries being targeted and reached. So we've got the data in the database, but now we want to analyze it. So we want to, step two in the instructions, create a pivot table or insert pivot table. We can choose, you can choose where you want it. I want that in just a, simply a new worksheet. And now here's where we start playing with our data. You'll see the field list coming straight from our headers in our data set from the 3W tab. If I wanted to see the organizations, for example, I could click and drag that field into the area for the rows, and we can see that appear in our pivot report. I take it off because this, act, this uh, exercise wants to know about our activities. So I select activity field, bring it down to the rows, and there's a list of all our activities. I then also want to know about targeted and reached beneficiaries. Here it worked fine because it brought the numbers in as sums, and that's what I wanted to, to see were the sums. However, sometimes Excel by default will bring in totals. Uh, sorry, it will bring in um, counts, for example. It looks like this. Be very cautious with this. I've messed it up many times as I've analyzed counts instead of sums. What a count is, is telling me for each time in the activity column where you see construction and rehabilitation, if you go to the right for the total targeted, it counts the number of values in the cells and not the addition of those values, the sum of those values. Don't be too confused by it. Basically, when you want a sum, make sure it says sum. So in this case, we do want to know the total targeted and reach for construction and for all of these activities. So you right click, summarize by sum, right click, summarize by sum. Fantastic. So the next step is uh, number four. We want to filter now. We don't want to see all of these activities. We've got uh, four core activities we want to filter by. And right now I just want to create a table for, the, for one, the first one, establishment of temporary classrooms. I don't need this grand total uh, row at the bottom. I can go into design. Have a look in all of these options because there's a lot that you can do with your layout. Grand totals, turn them off. Fantastic. I also want to change, sorry, I skipped a step. I want to change the uh, style. In Design tab, you see the styles here. So you can scroll around, pick that, fine. Once I have the uh, style that I like and everything is looking good for the table, I want to now visualize this by going to now Analyze and create a pivot chart. In this case, you can select Mini. I want Bar Chart. I press OK. So here's a bar chart showing exactly what I want. Now these gray boxes can be useful in the sense that I could actually change the filter. But in, for now, it's just kind of getting in my way. I'm going to right click and go to hide uh, all buttons on this chart. That gives me some more space to work, to 
work with. One thing that uh, is nice and sometimes a pain in Excel is it guesses that in, in fact in this chart, let's really emphasize the difference between tar target and reach, and they they set the beginning uh, the x-axis at 50,000. I know that I want to create other charts, and I would prefer in this case to start at zero. To do so, I can double click on those numbers, and here are the format axis options. Access options. You've got lots of options. Play around with that. Uh, as you wish, feel free to pause this. In this case, I'm just going to put a minimum of zero, so it takes it off of the auto preset, and I can close that, and you can see how the chart has changed. Now we're going from zero to 80,000. I don't want this 80,000. I don't actually need these numbers because I prefer, I can delete, I just press delete after selecting, right click on the uh, chart on the bar, and add data labels. You can see now I've removed that 63,000. It's easier to see and I do it again here. Fantastic. I don't need these grid lines. Select, delete. All, a lot of this, uh, the theory behind this is really presented effectively in the module itself, the very end, the last lesson data visualization. Go through those presentations, they're extremely good. Uh, so we've got this, this is not bad. I don't like what's going on here with the sum of total reach. You can change that not not directly here, but actually go back to your table, change it to whatever you want it to be. In this case, I'm going to go targeted and reached. That gives me some more, some more space to work with. This is getting a bit busy with the data labels out here, so I'll move it down. Let's go ahead and shrink it a bit. And the last thing, I'm, uh, I guess two more things. One is targeted. I, I think in terms of target and reach, I want to see target first. How do I move the target above reached? I can't do it here, and I can't even do it here. What I need to go back to my to my field list, down in the values, just simply click change the order, and that changes the order uh, both in my table as well as in my chart. I'll move this back. I can click and drag to change the size by these boxes, and and click in the in the white space here to move it around. I can also go to format and change manually here, such as 1.5 and 5. Okay, once you have it more or less the way you want it, well, actually, one more thing that I like is to change the colors. So, for example, change to whatever you like. Let's do target in a nice gray and uh, reached in a darker blue that will match better our table. Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Now, this is a really, really great fit tip. Once you have the chart how you like it, right-click and go to Save This Template. Let's call this uh, training video. Save, and now it's it's prepared. I can use that again later. So I want to not only report on establishment of temporary classrooms, but there are a few other activities. So I'm just going to copy Control C and Control V all the way down four different times. Essentially, what I've just done is create created three new pivot tables. I could have gone to put my data, insert new pivot tables, but why do that when there's a, a lazier, faster way? Now I want to change from establishment of temporary learning classrooms. I actually wanted this to be distribution of teaching and learning materials. I think the other one was distribution of ECD kits. And the last one, if we scroll down to the bottom, was teacher training or training on education personnel, not pedagogy, sorry, but psychosocial support and life saving skills. Those are the four activities that we told OSHA we would be reporting on. You can see that the numbers are all there. Everything is looking good. But now we want to create these charts for each of these tables. Click inside of the table for which you want to create the chart. Go again, go to Analyze, Pivot Chart. And instead of selecting Bar like we did last time, we can go straight into our Templates folder. Sorry, I've been practicing this. You've got the Training Video Template. You press OK. And now it's created that. So you can resize a little bit just to give yourself some space to work. Select, click inside the box, analyze, pivot chart, templates, training video, OK. I wish that the, uh, I wish that the template would actually change the size as well for me, but it doesn't. Click inside and we'll do our last one, analyze, pivot chart, templates, training video. And there we go. That's Pretty good. We now have a table with charts. 
but I, I want this to look better, so I can press, hold down control key while clicking each of those, and I can actually make them all the same size very easily by going to the uh, format tab, say it was 1.5 I believe, and 5. I know they're all the same size, but they're not aligned. I can do that by going to align, align left, for example. You can even distribute evenly vertically. Wow, that was better than I thought it would be, actually. That's looking fantastic. We have Now we now have our charts linked to our tables, and our tables are linked to our data. So we could present this to Oats and say, here are our indicators, target and reached. Here are our charts if you want some nice visuals. That's great. And next week when they say to us, give us an update, all we have to do is, is click one button in order to refresh, assuming that we've already updated our data. So to do that, let's, let's do this um, example, for example. If, if we have establishment of temporary classrooms here, you see it's 54,500. Let's do something crazy and, and just add 7,000 to one of those. Um, if we were to put it at the bottom, it would, at the, as a new, call, a new row in our, this database, it would work the same. But just for simplicity of this exercise and to make sure that everything is working, I'm going to go to one of these that says establishment of temporary classrooms. I'm going to add 10,000 beneficiaries just for fun to see what happens this number should change to 64,000 and this should jump up and slightly surpass the target let's see if it works you'll notice it hasn't done anything yet it doesn't mean that something's wrong it just means we haven't refreshed our data analyze refresh you can refresh it just the one table or all tables by by just to be safe I always do refresh all the number did jump and look our chart has jumped as well so this is really, really useful. Uh, you update your data. There's no, it's, it, updating data is always the, uh, the eating the vegetables. If there's, there's not a lot of shortcuts around putting the data into the database, getting it from partners. But once it's in your database and you have this analysis tab attached to it like this, through these pivot tables and pivot charts, when OCHA asks next week for the update, you just refresh your, refresh your tables and refresh your charts and you can send them that. If you like, to, if you need to write a report, for example, you can also select one or all of these, open up a Word document. I'm having trouble with my Word document. Paste it in, control copy, control paste, and there you have it inside of a, inside of a document if you put it in the Word as well. That's the exercise. I hope it was clear. See you soon.